Hello, welcome to our channel, how are you? May you always be healthy and more enthusiastic, M. Min. Summary of the storyline of the film this time, entitled Live and Let Die. James Bond is ordered by M. to investigate the deaths of three MI6 agents, who are suspected to have something to do with Dr. Kananga, Prime Minister of San Monique, a small country in the Caribbean. One of the MI6 agents, died during a United Nations meeting in New York, which was also attended by Dr. Kananga. James Bond teams up with Felix Leiter, a CIA agent, in investigating Dr. Kananga, when Bond on the way, from the airport to meet Leiter, the driver of the car that Bond was driving, was killed by Whisper, one of Dr. Kananga, luckily, Bond survived the car crash. Bond investigates a voodoo supply store, which get information from Leiter, is the location of the car that shot Bond's driver. Bond meets Mr. Big, a black gangster, who runs a restaurant chain, and Bond also meets Solitaire, a tarot card fortune teller. Bond survives Mr. Big, who is about to kill him, and is helped to escape by Strutter, a CIA agent. James Bond meets Rosie, who claims to be a CIA agent, while in San Monique, then Bond with Rosie, assisted by Quarrel Jr., who is an ally of Leiter and Bond, heads to the island where one of the MI6 agents was killed. Bond suspects Rosie, who is working with Dr. Kananga, but Rosie runs away from Bond during interrogation, and is shot dead by Dr. Kananga's secret weapon. Bond investigates the house, where Solitaire is, then Bond has sex with Solitaire, after Bond lies to Solitaire, convincing them to be lovers through tarot cards, after that, Solitaire tells Bond that she lost her tarot card fortune-telling, after losing her virginity. James Bond with Solitaire, being chased by Dr. Kananga's men, when caught investigating Dr. Kananga's opium's field. Dr. Kananga employs local residents, who are feared by voodoo, by Baron Samadhi one of Dr. Kananga's men. Bond with Solitaire, managed to escape from the pursuit of Dr. Kananga and the local police. James Bond heads to New Orleans, investigating the location of the death of one of the MI6 agents. At the airport, Bond managed to escape from the ambush of Mr. Big's men, while Solitaire pretends to hit Bond. Bond with Leiter, investigate the restaurant owned by Mr. Big in New Orleans, then Bond finds out that Mr. Big is Dr. Kananga in disguise. Dr. Kananga, plans to distribute heroin for free, through his restaurant chain, then increase the price of heroin when people get addicted. Bond is knocked unconscious by T. He, Dr. Kananga's men, then taken to Dr. Kananga's drug laboratory. Bond will to be used as food, for Dr. Kananga's pet crocodiles, but Bond manages to escape, and sets fire to the laboratory. Bond runs away from Dr. Kananga's men, using a speedboat, there was a chase that was quite intense and exciting, plus the police and sheriffs, from the state of Louisiana, tried to stop Bond and Dr. Kananga's men, and finally Bond managed to survive and demolish Dr. Kananga's men. James Bond, assisted by Leiter and Coral Jr., heads to San Monique, to destroy Dr. Kananga's opium field. Bond saves Solitaire, who is about to be killed in a voodoo ritual, and throws Baron Samadhi into a coffin filled with venomous snakes. While escaping, Bond and Solitaire are caught by Dr. Kananga, they were both tied up and about to be used as food for the sharks. Bond immobilizes Whisper, 
Having managed to escape from the tie, using the watch that Q gave him, then Bond blows up Dr. Kananga, by delivering a compressed gas gun to Dr. Kananga's mouth. James Bond with Solitaire, enjoying a train ride, suddenly, Tihi appears, who is about to kill Bond, but finally, James Bond manages to incapacitate Tihi, and throws him off the train. That's a summary of the storyline of the film this time, please support our channel by clicking subscribe, thank you, see you again.